Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I am bored, COVID-19 and all that. There's only so many times you can paint a fence and whatnot. I haven't painted the front yet, so don't call me on that. Um, but I've got some parts laying around for the Audi. Uh, I'm gonna show you around the car, show you the bits that I don't like, talk about the plans that I have for this car in the future and whatnot. And, um, we're gonna change some parts over and then maybe talk about the future plans and a few of the bits and bobs. Um, I'm going to do this early on in the video as well, so if you can go down, subscribe, like, comment, watch the video to the end, muchly appreciated. Right, that's going to go to some action shots of the Audi of what it looks like currently, I'm going to talk about what we're going to change, so play the intro. So as you've seen a second ago through the little montage, uh, this is an A4 B6 Avant uh, 1.8 Turbo Quattro. Uh, it's roughly 170, uh, yeah, 170 brake horsepower uh, motor, but this will be changed. That's one of the future plans to do with the bits and bobs. Um, the car's got about 134,000 miles on it, which is quite low really for an, an engine of this you know, they're normally, you know, between the 200 and 250,000 uh, for the age. I mean, it's nearly 20 years old, so um, it's a good, reliable car. I've got a few boosting issues. Um, don't know if it's down to this. Uh, I have got a standard one to put in if I have, if I need to, but I am going to do some tests on it at a later date. Not today. Today is cosmetics. So we're going to do a few bits and bobs, like change this grill for starters. Um, yeah. The, if you let me just pop this down I don't understand why all this is black and then that's chrome I don't like chrome anyway but it's just annoys me so that's being changed and then we're gonna change the two rear lights because they're both once they're two different colors because one's been replaced in the past but one side's cracked as well um, and we've got some new number plates and steering wheel and gator and gear knob so um, we'll crack on I think uh, I think first we'll do the grill, and then we need to clean as well, because the car's dirty. Eventually I will paint all this as well, it's starting to go a bit crusty, so. but don't need to do that today, save that for another day. <laughs> right, this is the aftermarket grill we're going to be putting in, it's off an S4, so you can put the badge in, I like badgeless cars, I've always had them, so. Um, we'll get a relatively easy swap out, so I think the first one is... Oh, come on, you got it, girl. There we go. Boom. Old one, out with the old, in with the new. I think what, what I might do is while we're here, just give that a little clean. Just because I can. <laughs> right, back to you in a sec. Just gonna give this a quick clean. The whole car's gonna be clean in a bit anyway, but I just, while I can get to it, I might as well. I need to fill this back up. Again, a little bit of you, but let it sit for a second. And then just wipe. all that years of dirt out 
Oh, take this rubber off for a sec. And get under it then. So satisfying. But anybody that's wondering about the uh, Forester stuff as well, while we're here, I have ordered a clutch. It's going to be here next week, so that'll give me something else to do. And then I have got a friend coming back home to give me a hand with it because I need a mechanically capable man to give me a hand because it's going to be a nightmare to do it on my own. It is doable, but if you've got people that are willing to help and know the no, why not utilise them? There we go. It's a lot cleaner than what it was two seconds ago. So, right, ready to push the new grill in. Literally, we need to push this in as well, but we'll do that in a sec. I think that goes this one here. What is it? It's one of them. <laughs> um, yeah, it's this one. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, is that all in at the bottom? Let's have a look. Nope. Uh, there, and there, and there. Oh, let's have a quick look. See if what that does for the car. Don't know if I like it. <laughs> Not sure. I just need to get used to it. <laughs> anyway, so um, I think I've just cocked that up. I'm not sure. Yeah, it needs to go to the one underneath. Bollocks. Some time has passed and some sweat has been gained. I'm now Pongi, Stuart's now Pongi, but yeah, that's the result of what happened, so, oh, yeah, so that now goes on to the uh, scrap pile, um, we took the under sheet off from here as well, it was just falling down, looking horrible, so I gave everything a good clean, cleaned the engine bay, and then proceeded to take all the grills off, <laughs> um, so, yeah. The next protocol for that is we've sat there and sanded um, everything down um, and we're not going to bore you too much but yeah we've got some 2k black and we're just going to go for it everything's been sanded down and whatnot so we'll show you a few little uh, passes and then we'll uh, crack on so you know you know the the deal with these guys i've got a whole video on painting wheels same concept so just a nice tacky pass let that go off a little bit these ain't gonna be too good but a nice 2k black, hopefully, should bring these looking nice again. I am obviously going to give it a good car afterwards, but this is just so you get a rough idea. I'm not too worried about reaction either, if you know what I mean, or any bugs or anything like that, because all that's going to end up happening is they're going to get stone chips in that anyway, because they are at the front of the, uh, the car, so I don't want to spend too much time on it, but I also don't want to paint the grill and then it be the old colour. Like I say, the first one is a, a 
hockey coat. I'll get back to you when it's all done. Painted the uh, grills now. I said I weren't going to go for a nice job and I ended up doing a nice job. Whoops. So, anyway, next job, rear lights, as you can see. I mean, I got a second hand rear light. This one's cracked in places and misty. This one's got a little bit of stuff inside, so I'll probably end up having to order another one. But yeah, and then on this side, I've got another second hand replacement off the same car and it's, it's cracked. So it's just one of those jobs that we need to do. So no time like the present, I suppose. With these, literally, someone's rounded off a bolt. I thought that'd have been the case, so. 10 mil. In that hole, just flick it out. 10 mil. Ooh. It's not a 10 mil, it's an 8 mil. <laughs> hey, live action. Just pop that out. to get a magnet. Pause. Magneto. Just pull that out. And then pull this off. I might reuse this one actually because it seems to be in better condition than the other one. Yeah what we do is we just oh be very careful. But yeah it just pull out like that. Pull the rear lights off. So they're molded on. Okay, they'll have to just stay on. Yeah, again. Direct place replacement. Similar sort of thing. They go in there like that. Goes in there. You put your bolt back through. You might need to uh, try and find it. This is why they leak, because they're not pushed in enough. Just literally lean on the light, gently, not too bad. Just tighten. And that is one light changed. And it looks 10 times better than the one that was in there. So. I know I've got this bit here. Hey. And that's it. Two rear lights. And now, to the number plate. <laughs> I've got some new ones. That one ain't too bad actually, but I'll just change it anyway because I've got two fresh ones, so. Gonna do the front number plates, but, I'm gonna do a bit of a uh, art attack on you. And look what I prepared earlier. Boom, two holes. And I have got the right equipment for the need the black ones. So I've got screws and the caps, and I've got black and I've got yellow. And I've got white. I've got them all. So need two of these. Two screws, two caps, and a I fill it. Right. If you don't know how these go, shoot yourself. It's just the sort of thing that makes a car look fresh. I love, I love putting new plates on cars. It just makes them look really, really, really nice. Really, really nice. Right, I want to see if this Gator will fit on there. This is out of an S3, so it's better because mine's torn here. And obviously this one hasn't, it's got a longer snub on it there, but this has also got the neck there, so I'm assuming this is pretty much going to be the same. I know this trim isn't going to fit, 
I don't know, this ring and that ring, this one's bigger. So, what I'm hoping to do is, if I can unpin them all from here, the leather, I might be able to just transfer the leather over. Someone's been in it before. You can just tell. But yeah, just to unpin all this leather here. And then uh, transfer the leather over to this one. I know this will need to go clean and I do want to change these at some point. Um, but there's only one way to find out if this is going to work and that is by doing it. So I'll get back to you in a moment whether it work, will work or won't work. I'm going to take this one apart first because it's no, no loss. I won't take this one apart just in case it goes wrong. So if I take this one apart, we'll see if I can transfer it. Should be able to. If not, we'll jerry-rig it so it will. It's only a test. I have got a steering wheel to go in as well. But I've got to disconnect the battery for that. So We'll see what time we get done. I mean, I've got to clean the car anyway. It depends what the time is and whatnot. I don't want to be out of this too long. I've already been out it long enough. All I'm doing is lift, tuck, push. Lift, tuck, push. Oh, man down, man down. This is not a good angle. Could have just turned it around. But the camera is on the other side. Oh god, oh gee, no. <laughs> it's all gone. Let's try and collect some of these up. I'll hoover that one out, because this ain't going back together anyway, even if it does or doesn't work. It was an experiment. But let's experiment together. That's what she said. Right then, so. All I've got to do, realistically, is take this silver ring off and put... Ah, uh, yes. If this, I think it's going to work. Might need a bit of a stretch on a staple through there. That's not that's not the end of the world. There's no staple. Oh, I haven't got this one off yet. Yeah, I just need to unfold that one and this one. Right, let's undo this gear knob here. And we'll take them off and do them. This one's got an allen key in it. But I believe the original... Bad for a first guess on the other gear. This one's got a little light in it as well. Not me, previous owner. Uh, Allen key there. Because I might be able to make a little, um, a weird combo up of the, the two. I just, the gate, gate is split and it's just one of those things that really annoys me. I feel it, I don't like it, so I need to change it. Why is this light? Anyway. Because I don't... That gear knob's a bit. I don't know where it's... Uh... Find out where it's connected to. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. It was just a twist and shout, man. Shame on you. But, yeah, as you can see, this ring won't work on that. Way too small. So. But, this one. Boy, I'll get back to you with the results. We, in fact, did what we said we were going to do. And that was fit. This is the A3 one. This is the A4 Gator A3. You can see it's really loose. So A4 to A3, really easy conversion. A4 to A3, really tight. That's why it's like really tight around here. But I think it's turned out, I mean, I need to put a compression thing on it. It normally sits about there, but I think I want it there. Nice little stubby throw on it. So I think that's good. It's not a six speed, it's a five speed, so. Obviously, the next job is to try and put that into there. 
but I might save that for another day because we need to get the car back together and cleaned. But I will do another steer. I am going to do another steering wheel because obviously you can see it's all had a bit of an accident as well. <laughs> that really hurt. It's one of the staples went straight through my finger and touched the bone. So if you are doing this, be very careful. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put the the S4 steering wheel into this. I have got it. Um, I just need to get it. But yeah, I'm gonna try and pop this cap out actually. But yeah, got rid of the twist and shout, light up, quattro, and getting up. <laughs> just wanna make sure that these are the same diameter. They look the same. Well, I think they're molded to that, but that one won't fit in there, I don't think. I might just, um, I might just order the right gear up. We'll see. But yeah, just need to clean the car now. Put it back together. Clean, clean it, put it back together and then we'll do some finishing shots, I think. I'll save the steering wheel for another day because I need to just put the, take the back draft, I can't be bothered. It's a bit late, I wanna have a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, have a barbecue with people that you're isolating with only at this moment in time. <laughs> but yeah, that looks good. So, A4 to A3 gator conversion, so I'm happy with that. And, I, and it's a better style as well. I didn't, I didn't really like that. This is more race, race styly. So anybody that tries to drive my car now is gonna think that it's gonna <laughs> put reverse and it'll be into first and it's just gonna go <laughs> Yep. Yeah. So painted the grills. We've done the interior ish. Needs a little bit more work, but I can work on that off camera. You get the general gist. I'm gonna change the steering wheel at some point, but we'll do that. Um, the only thing to do now on a boring COVID-19 day is to wash your car. Broke the aftermarket one, um, decided that I was going to paint the original one, um, but then couldn't have painted the original one if we didn't paint the bottom ones either, so I think they've turned out wicked. I said I didn't really want a um, too good of a finish, if you know what I mean. It's, they're only going to get stone chips and whatnot anyway, so I've changed this to a bigger bolt as well. I still need to put the sides down, but I need the stuff. Um, i still got the steering wheel to do, but I think the front end looks way better now. I'm dead happy with it. So, yeah. So, as you can see from the little pan out, we have done everything on the car. So I just need to, okay, that's the, I need to line that up with that. Yeah, this is the last little finishing touches to the car that I need to do today. The plans for the car are to um, bigger turbo, that sort of stuff. You know, it's all all the good modifications. Um, obviously, I'm just doing this because of boredom. Give it a good clean. You never really own a car until you you clean it, sort of thing. Until you clean it. I've never actually cleaned this car since I've owned it. I've always had other people do it. Um, so, you know. I don't know how this is going to look by the way, I just got given them 
uh, from a friend of mine at Aldi. So I just thought it could give it the last little touch that it needs to have. It might look stupid, but we'll find out. I was told they go on the rear. And then I thought a did TT TFRS or whatever it is. Yeah, so I'm gonna end this video here anyway. Um, we've we've done we've done all the, the things I need to do, day-to-day -day living stuff basically. There's no excuses for you not to do it while you're at home. You've got plenty of time. Everything's quite cheap. People are still willing to travel, unfortunately, to um, deliver parts to you. So, you know, if you've got time to do it, do it. Like, comment, subscribe, as like I said at the beginning of the video. Um, enjoy yourself and try not to go insane. <laughs>